I love playing movie games and I just found a new one to me that I can't get enough of. This is called the Cinematrix. You gotta go and guess, you know, what will match and what square. Sigourney Weaver and James Cameron. I guessed Aliens, that was pretty easy. But then Sigourney Weaver in 95 to 2004 got a little bit iffy, but there was one movie that came to mind and that was Heartbreakers for some reason. Only 17% of people ever brought that up in this, but I was a huge Jennifer Love Hewitt fan. So that's one that my man came up with. But for the $100 million worldwide box office, yeah, it was Avatar. I mean, how could it not be? But now let's go to Bill Paxton, James Cameron. One movie, the scumbag role that Bill Paxton plays in True Lies. Oh my God, he's so cheesy. Maybe my favorite Bill Paxton role, maybe. But now we'll go to 95 through 04. And Frailty came to mind because he both starred in and directed this movie. I think the only movie he directed, but for a $100 million box office worldwide, yeah, it's Titanic, you know, one of the biggest, highest grossing movies ever made. James Cameron's good at that. But for finally, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger and James Cameron. Yeah, I got the Terminator. And Terminator, in my opinion, is the best in the franchise. Terminator 2 comes close, but Arnold Schwarzenegger, 95 to 2004? Yeah, I chose Batman and Robin. It's the first Batman movie I ever watched, and I fell in love with the character ever since. But now Arnold Schwarzenegger in a $100 million worldwide box office is Terminator 2. Again, it's a phenomenal sequel. And I like playing this game because it also showcases what answers were most guessed. I never guessed Alien, <laughs> Resurrection, or Twister. I should have, but I, I love this game. If you haven't played it, highly recommend it. It's over on Vulture.